All right, I would like to call to order the District of Chapwin public hearing, um, April 15th, and a motion to adopt the agenda. I'll make that motion. Second. I'll second. Thank you, all in favor? So this public hearing is being convened pursuant to section 892 of the Local Government Act in order to consider the proposed bylaws. The District of Chetwin um, Official Community Plan Amendment Bylaw Number 1089-2019, 47th Avenue Northwest, and District of Chetwin Zoning Amendment Bylaw Number 1090-2019, 47th Avenue Northwest, and the District of Chetwin Zoning Amendment Bylaw Number 1091 2019. At this public hearing, any person present who believes that their interest in the property is affected by the proposed bylaws shall be given the opportunity to be heard on the matters contained in the proposed bylaws. However, it is important that all who speak at this meeting restrict their remarks to the matters contained in the bylaws, and it's my responsibility as chair of this meeting to ensure that all remarks are so restricted. Those of you who wish to speak, um, on this proposed bylaw um, should at the appropriate time direct your address to council by clearly stating your name and address then you may give us a, the benefit of your views concerning the proposed bylaws council may if they wish ask questions however the main function of this council is to listen to the views of the public it is not the function of the council at the public hearing to debate the merits of the proposed bylaws with individual citizens Everyone who deems their interest in uh, property to be affected shall be given the opportunity to be heard at this meeting, and no one should be or should, or should feel discouraged to pre or prevented from making their views known. After this public hearing is concluded, the council may, without further notice, give whatever effect it believes proper to the uh, representations made at this um, hearing. So we have in front of us the um, matters to be discussed is the official community plan amendment um, and the background information we have, items A, B, and C. We also have um, a letter from the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure and we also have a letter from Wendy McRae in regards to the zoning bylaw. So what do we do this one first? Okay, so if there's any public presentations on um, 5A, uh, official community plan amendment bylaw number 1089, 2019, 47th Avenue Northwest, Yes, please do. Okay, thank you. Um, my name is Wendy McRae. I am the person who uh, put in the letter that is in your package, I believe. So I won't be repeating what I put on that letter. I just wanted to give a, maybe a bit of background. Um, DWB Consulting Services is a natural resources consulting company that expanded into Chetwind from our start in Laclahash. We had then moved into Prince George and expanded into other northern communities. We now have five operations in Laclahash, Prince George, Burns Lake, Chetwind, and Fort St. John. We employ between 110 and 150 people in northern British Columbia. We purchased the house at 5113 42nd Avenue Northwest on May 28th of 2010. At that point, we purchased it specifically because it was both a house and had commercial zoning. Because at that point, we didn't have another office in Chetwind. So we had crews that stayed in that house, and we also used it as our office. Now, we rapidly outgrew using it as an office and a crew, crew accommodation, so we purchased an additional building on April 17th of 2013 within half a block of our current crew house. 
Unfortunately, rezoning to um, single family residential would mean that this unit would no longer work for us because in researching the bylaws of District of Chetwind, the only usage of single family residential is up to five unrelated people in the house. That house has six bedrooms, some of which have more than one person that stays in them. We especially use it in the, win in the summer season when we have summer crews coming into the area. And it is, has been extremely valuable for us to have it because our crew, we have an absolute prohibition on using our company vehicles for any personal use. In part, that's for safety so that we don't end up with a company vehicle um, parked at a bar. And have that particular house in that particular location means that our crews can walk to both our own office, which is in within a half a block, and to the grocery stores and to some of the restaurants. So I'm perfectly open to questions, but I would strongly prefer that for our house at least, that it not be rezoned away from the commercial because that is still a big part of our use. Thank you, Wendy. And I don't know that we have any questions at this time. Does council have any questions? Does council have any questions? Okay. We have a question. If we go ahead. Are we going any further with this today or well we hope to um we have an option here that's and that's what i'm looking for yes okay so carol maybe would you like to give us an update on what the option is sure so <clears throat> after this public hearing we'll be having a regular meeting of council and this uh, rezoning bylaw and the uh, ocp redesignation bylaw is on that agenda for third reading and adoption. So if council wishes to, at that time during the regular meeting, to uh, rezone that block without the house that DWB uh, owns, that's certainly an option of council. And then if council decides to do that, I would ask that um, they ask us to amend the bylaw at second reading and then um, give it third reading as amended and adopt it as amended. Okay, any more questions? Knowing that, what our options are? Okay. All right. Thank you, Wendy. Is that it? No, I can go to here. Yep. Okay. So very good. If there's no more comments um, from the public, and I would now like to have this public hearing closed. Does that have to be moved? Okay, second. Thank you. All in favor? Carried. All right. Thank you. You're still there, Laura? I am still here, so someone call me at 1 You betcha. Awesome. Okay. Bye. Bye. statement called order opening statement as we begin our meeting this evening we reflect on the service we provide to our citizens and we will endeavor to conduct our business effectively and productively on their behalves thank you I've got a, I've got a late item uh, RA2 I'll go reports. Economic development. Is there anything else to add to our agenda?
prior to adopting? Uh, just have a request to your worship. Yes. Um, is it possible to move that addition of RA2 into the first position of RA1 and move RA1 down? Just for the reason I'll be excusing myself on RA1. I don't see any issue with that. Does any council councilor have any issues? No, that's good. It okay. works for me. Yes, that's good, Laura. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, any new uh, items to add to the new business? Okay, adopt, adopt. I need a motion for adoption of the agenda. I would make that motion to adopt the agenda with the notation that number four delegations and presentations has already been delivered today. I'll okay. second that. Second. All those in favor? Carry. Okay, minutes. Minutes of the regular meeting on April 1st, 2019. All those in favor? Carry. And the uh, delegations have been presented. Can I uh, just ask a question on that part? Uh, for I was at a PRRD meeting. Uh, how did it go? Can somebody give me a little? It was good. Um, she just gave us an update on uh, the activity, like Canada wide, worldwide actually, on the um, growth in oil, gas, and the other industries. And uh, the fact that they've changed their name to uh, include oil and gas. They were the Canadian Association of Petroleum producers. producers, and now they're the oil and gas and natural gas and everything like that. So it was, uh, it was good. Yeah, okay. some good forecasts. Okay. Thank you. We got some bylaws. B1, District of Chetwin. Official Committee Planning Amendment Bylaw Number 1089, 2019, 47th Avenue, uh, Northwest, requires third reading and adoption. So this is the bylaw that um, DWB would rather be excluded from. So if council wishes, they can uh, give this by or bylaw a third reading with the amendment to pull 5113 from the rezoning. Okay. And then I would make that motion okay. to remove 5113 from this, uh, from the third reading. Okay. Second. Is everybody clear? Okay, all those in favor? Carried. Go ahead, staff. Oh, I was just going to say, um, if, if council wishes, they could also adopt it as amended. Okay, um, is that um, a motion to adopt as amended? Yes. Okay. Second. All those in favor? Carried. Bylaw B2, District of Chetwin Zoning Amendment Bylaw Number 1090, 2019, 46th Avenue. Is that the same? Uh, no. Ed Carroll, yes, you better it, like it, me. It is. The first oh. one was the OCP redesignation, and this is the zoning redesignation for that same strip. So if uh -huh. council wishes to exclude 5113, they might want to do that at this point as well. Okay. I'll make that recommendation that we exclude 5113. 47th Avenue. Second. Uh, second. I'd second that. Okay. Oh, here it is. Sorry, I'm, I'm lost. Okay. Yeah, I've got it. I'll second that. Okay. Favor? Carried? That, are we done with that one, Carol, or yes. we need to? Okay. Uh, B3, District of Chetwin Zoning Amendment Bylaw Number. 1091 2019 requires third reading and adoption. I would make that motion for third reading and adoption. Let's 
discussion? All those in favor? Carried. B4, District of Chetland Financial Plan, 2019. 2019 to 2020, bylaw number 1095, 2019 requires first, second, and third readings. I'll second. Okay, we're really moving here. <laughs> yes. All those in favor? Carried. B5, District of Chetwin, 2019, Tax Rate Bylaw Number 1096, 2019, requires first, second, and third readings. Motion to move for second and third re uh, reading. All those in favor? Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we're going to give you a financial advisor here, Kevin. Thank you. Uh, this is the, this sets our tax rates that, so that we can then issue the property tax notices. The municipality is required to do our tax rates for our earnings and, or for our tax purposes, but we also have to do the uh, PRD and the P Peace River Health District uh, rates as well, so that we collect that money and then remit it on to them. Oh, okay, thank you. Any more questions or discussion? All those in favor? Carried. Who's this guy? The mayor's report. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got a short, uh, short report here. I've been, I've been carabooing it for the last little while. So we've been kind of in a position where we we've had difficulty trying to make light of our uh, progress in the agreement with our caribou. Uh, with our governments. So I just came back from a meeting with the Peace River Regional District and progress seems to be possible. Uh, Blair Lextrum has been uh, delegated as our uh, representative to the government on uh, our uh, behalf of the region uh, because he was appointed by the Premier so that uh, gives him uh, quite, quite a bit of, uh, let's say, in, not insight but uh, powers to talk to uh, the uh, the premier without having to go through all other uh, avenues so it, it puts us in a pretty good position and we are going to have uh, meetings with the PRRD so that uh, we can we will meet with the ministers and the uh, First Nations and when the, the meetings come about we will public publicly put them out there so that uh, we will bring stuff back to our public and that was agree agreed upon between Blair and uh, ourselves at the Peace River Regional District. So uh, with that, and uh, hopefully we clear that up and we could get back to a normal life of uh, uh, enjoying Chetwin and the uh, chainsaw carvings coming up and the minerals north coming up and what else have we got? Skiing? Okay. Anyway, that's, uh, that's my report and if you want that, you have to go to uh, to chat TV and and get it all. <laughs> okay. Does any uh, anybody else have any reports? Yes. Um, yeah, I just got one little thing I'd like to pass on. A thank you to Ron Millsap. Every spring he's out uh, cleaning up the boulevards. Uh, he's one of the first ones to uh, come and. Uh, hold our feet to the fire when we're spending money, but he's also one to chip in around the community. I'd just like to say thank you to him. That's noted. Hey, good job, Ron. And Mel for uh, bringing it up. 
Okay. Discussion items. Got an email from the district of Tumbler Ridge uh, inviting us to Gwillem. I guess uh, one of the things that happens that they lost the boat launch a couple of years ago, I believe, and they were inviting us to have a look because they want another one built there. And uh, being the community in between, uh, on the on this side of uh, the lake, the and the use of it from our our point of view is our community does use that boat launch too. So I guess they want us to go meet there and try to come up with some something I believe with to send to the government and have them rebuild it for for us. So that's the invitation put out to council, and I accept it for uh, Clay Bazandowski. <laughs> 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 So we're, we've all been invited, council, if uh, you got time. So then I would make that motion to yes. authorize all members of council to attend a meeting with the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change Strategy and the District of Tumdall Ridge at Quillam Lake Park, Tuesday, May 21st, 2019. Second. Second. All those in favor? Carried. Correspondence. Does any councillor have anything on the correspondence that they would like to address? Need a motion to accept as received? A second. Okay, all those in favor? Carried. Information item. This one says check. <laughs> Council agenda, agenda report dated April 2nd. March accounts payable checklist. Is that money check or check my list? <laughs> Kevin? It is a series of checks. The, that's our monthly payables for the, for the district. And where could I see them? They're in your correspondence okay, and where, folder. Where could the public see them? They're in the correspondence folder. <laughs> they come Perfect. in the front so desk and ask. That's, that's what I'm asking. It says if the yep. public has to, where can they see them? Yep. They can come in and ask at the front desk. Perfect. Thank you very much. Reports, to action. Reports for action. Which one? Which one? Uh, all these? Oh, okay, nine. Okay, we need to uh, make a motion uh, for uh, number nine information item. So moved. Okay, carried. Is that easy? Okay. Okay, we're uh, going to reports uh, for action. Uh, we've uh, moved RA2 ahead of RA1. I'll make that recommendation that council authorize rezoning for the sale of property conditions to be met within the arrangement of sale for the properties located at 5,000 and 5,040 North Access Road as advertised with an upset price of $480,000. And that bylaw number 1097 be introduced and read a first and second time and that a public hearing be scheduled to gather public input on the above bylaw on May 21st, 2019 at 4 p.m. in council chambers. I'll second that. Discussion? All those in favor? Okay, carry. Was that the item there, Laura? Okay. See ya. Just slam it down real hard <laughs> so we can hear you. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Thanks Laura. Okay, bye -bye. Bye. okay. Okay, department uh, subject. 0781672 BC Limited, Curtis and Betty Brewster, development permit number 0120 or 2019. 
I'll make that recommendation that Council approve the issuance of development permit number 01 2019 to 078 BC Limited of Curtis and Betty Brewster yep. for construction of a new storage building at 4316 Nicholson Road, Lot 1, DL 494, Peace River, District Plan 24681. Accept plan EPP 13415. I would second that. <clears throat> Any more discussion? Is that the first reading or? Okay, perfect. Okay, all those in favor? Carried. And we'll set a date for the public hearing. Um, this one is just approved. You can oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Reports for information. I'll make it the uh, recommendation that the report be received for information on the building permit values. All those in favor? Carried. Didn't, didn't have any new business, and uh, is there any uh, public questions or media? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, meeting. Motion to adjourn. Okay, all those in favor? Thank you, adjourn.